Hello, in this video I am going to walk you through the steps of installing and setting up PKGI on your PS3 which allows you to download you know, games, updates, DLC for the PS3 for free. Okay, so this video is not condoning piracy, it is for educational purposes and yeah, so for educational purposes, not condoning piracy, highly recommend you know that you own the game that you are doing this with etc etc okay so first of all you want to google pkgi and this is basically an offshoot of the port a support of the vita version of this and go to release download the latest version which as of making this video is 1.1.8 can be any version you want and get the .pkg, so click that, your download. The next thing that you need is these two files. So I will provide a link, you know, links in the description to everything you need, including these. So what you wanna do is copy the text from this. And if I go over, if I just open this, showing folder. If I literally right click, new text document and name this config.txt open that paste that into there save it and they do the same for the other one it's just that one line in this copy that and go here right click new text document and name this one db db format.txt paste that there there's no new line there at the end and click save okay so we're almost ready to go next thing is you need some sort of USB device that you can plug in to your PS3 and copy these files over you could potentially use an FTP client if you've got that set up also this obviously assumes that you've hacked your PS3 if you are installing games on an external hard drive and you've already got that set up you could always connect that up to your computer and then plug that back into your PS3. I've got a USB stick. It needs to be formatted to FAT32 and not all the USB devices that you put in the computer will give you the option to format FAT32. So if you Google the dating FAT32 tool, and again, I will provide a link to this in the description, download that and just right click it extract all extract and here we go if you just double click the exe yes and now make sure you select the correct device when you format it you do want to not format some other device so click that and you can scroll down and for me and it has not appeared for me let me just put my usb stick back in Okay, so there's my USB stick, and if I scroll down, let me actually reopen this. Scroll down, and there we go, you will select your USB stick, you can name it if you want to, click format drive, it can take a bit of time, so I'm not going to do it, but you just do that. Once it says format successful, you can just click exit, open, before we open it up. If we, yeah, if we open it up, and I'll delete these because we're going to be copying them over. So just grab these three, copy them over to our USB stick. And now we can unplug the USB stick. Once this window disappears, it has been successfully unplugged. It is saying that it is in a use, which is strange because apart from the fact that it's open, it is not. Okay, so that's that unplugged. We're gonna switch over to the PS3 now and we're gonna install pkgi.txt and actually get it all set up. So I'll see you there. Okay, now we are on the PS3 side of things. We are going to plug in the, where the camera, there we go. The USB stick, so pretty simple. Just whack it in. Three. 
uh, my PS3 controller does not want to seem to connect. Let me just reconnect this controller. Bear with me. Oh, there we go. Connected. Okay, so what you want, I'll delete it because I already had it installed. So let me delete it. So I can do from scratch. And what you want to do is go to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, go to Standard, which is the root of your storage device. And if I scroll down, I've got two because the first set of packages are from my hard drive, and the second one, this one, is from the USB stick. So I'll click that. Focus it a bit. And there we go. Okay, so now that we've installed that, it'll appear here, it won't work yet. The bit of configuration that's still needed. So if we go over to Multi Manager MMCN, or you can use some other sort of tool, you we basically need to be able to access the folders and file on our USB stick, copy them over into a particular folder on the internal hard drive. So once this launches up, depending on what you know interface you have, you, it might look like this. So to change it, you just press start and select, and there we go. So let me close these so it's looking tabular rather for us. So it'll look like this. Go to PS3 root. I'll just copy this about, I'll just move this over here. And you want to go over to one of the USB sticks. For me, I know it's USB 001. If you've got multiple, check which one it is. Go into there. And you want to press X. You just use the right analog stick to move the mouse. Press X on the other one. Now press circle. And then you can press X to, you know, copy it. If you have it, you know, reverse depending on what region you are in, you might it might be X to get the menu up and circle to enter. Now that you've copied that, we can close this down, go to PS3 root again, go to dev underscore HDD zero, go to game, and you need to find a folder that's it's gonna be named probably a little bit different depending on your system it'll be something like this np00 pkgi the number after it might vary so just double click x on that and then go to usr dir the user directory in here press circle click x to paste it go to yes focus in a bit and that's it you know we're all done so if i press the playstation button quit out of this Um, now if we go to PKG I PS3 and if that happens that's fine and if you say something like this error that is fine as long as the menu on the right appears that's all good just go down using the arrows to refresh press X if you start refreshing the database you can make sure you are connected to the internet for this this is downloading it all the internet and now you're good to go press triangle you can you sort by title region name size you can choose what content is displayed at the moment it's displaying all content you can choose games only dlcs themes avatars demos if you have configured your config file for managers emulators and apps they will appear as well i'll just do games you can choose which region to show you can do you know, direct download or background download. I prefer the direct download just so I know I can see it easily. You can choose to show updates, etc. etc. And you can click refresh if you want to get um, the latest version. Okay, now if we press circle, you can get it up with triangle at any time. If we go down, you'll be, you know, you can find any game that you want. So, you know, like we got this, for example, you know, obviously with different stuff, we could like this, and just press X, 
creating a WIF file, downloading icon, task success of the queue, reboot to start. So if I was to reboot the device, because the download will appear you know, over here, but you need to reboot the device to you know make it show. That's just a little caveat at the moment. It's, it's a bit more elegant on the PS Vita, but it still works, which is, you know, is all good stuff. So just wait for the, the PS3 to launch back up. So I'll turn it off, I'm turning it back on now. You're not hearing any sound from the PS3 because I've you know, muted it. Right. We go to network, go to download management. And there we go, the game is right there, that we, or whatever we've set to download. So if you press triangle, or if you just press X on it, you can see the status. So it's downloading it, it's 3% downloading, and once it's downloaded, it'll appear here, and you can press X on it and install it. So that's it, that's how you set up PKGI on the PS3. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes. You can check out our Discord group. There'll be a link in the description for more information and more help. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.